it part just, of me thinks I'm happy that this is as rigorous as it is because I think there's so a, high stress. There's man. a big misconception that people think, especially the whole defund the police group. They yeah. they think that it's just anybody walking in can just do this. And and 100. percent I thought that was the same way too. Coming out of the military, you I thought it would like, probably be like I'm gonna just go military. sign this up. I'm gonna go take a PT test, and they're gonna tell me, "Hey, this is what you start the academy." Mm-hmm. And the the first time that I had gone through the process was Scottsdale PD, and they were like, "Thanks, if we're interested, we'll call you." And I'm like, "But I did everything." Yeah. And they're like, "Yeah, but you got to understand, out of that pool of 50, we had to pick two. Yeah, you wow. weren't the top two, which is also humbling too, because to hear that, know, yeah." yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, like, I feel like I'm the top one percent. You are not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we all we all kind of tend to think that, but it's uh, yeah, it's 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 reassuring to see that it's actually quite vetting and that it hopefully it does produce the most responsible, level headed people because that's a that's a that's a high stress job. I mean, that's absolutely as I don't know if I that, I don't have experience in either department, but it seems like it'd be as high stress as the military. I no, mean, it's especially it's now. Far, it's far more high stress because you mean, think it's more high, interesting. Abs- Why? Absolutely. So I took bombs apart, right? In the military. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So my job consisted of one thing. Okay, mm-hmm. keeping that bomb from exploding. Okay, if it explodes, I'm dead. No longer my problem. Yeah. If it doesn't explode, cool. On to the next. Super easy. It's just basic. Super easy. <laughs> just just stay alive. Okay. <laughs> if you tuck that in your mindset, you're just the stress goes away because right. it's either I'm wrong or I'm dead. Great. <laughs> now, with law enforcement, it's I'm wrong, I'm going to prison, I'm getting sued, uh, I could have said the wrong thing to the wrong person. They might I shut down my homeless. family's uh, yeah. company. They. I'm going to have people find out who I am and follow me home. Like, it, it, it's Get so doxxed. Many. Yeah, exactly. Get what? Doxxed. What's that mean? It's where they... Put all your information, information out, out there. the internet for people to Never heard come that. after you. Yeah. Oh Seriously? My God. It's yeah. super common, especially with social media. Like, yep. we have uh, we had an entire class in the academy, and it was just like, get rid of your social media. Don't let anybody know you exist. Wow. <laughs> okay. So that's the <laughs> and it, we so always, that's the police that that's their yeah that's, perspective that's on social media. Don't have a public Don't, no because that is just an open wound that somebody will pick at. Yeah. What's I, it's funny because I do it's it's not common, but I've seen some of these, especially female officers Mm -hmm. they rock social media oh absolutely i've seen some of those some of those really attractive female cops they'll have like a two hundred thousand follower instagram page where they're just doing the police and does it comes down to the department whether or not they're cool with you doing that i mean would it would there ever be a situation where they're like nope get rid of it or we'll get rid of you oh absolutely because everything that they do you are a reflection of that department Mm -hmm. right so yeah there's some of them man that that i even follow that i've become friends with and they're powerlifter competitors that also happen to be cops, police officers, right? But you'll look at their page, and it's just nothing but powerlifting stuff. Because and then there's like two pictures of them in uniform, and you're like, "Wait, yeah. what are you doing?" Ronnie again? Coleman. Ronnie Coleman was a cop. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, because it doesn't have to be the like. I mean, you said you have to eat, sleep, breathe. It has to be your whole mo. It's got to be your whole life think. because. So you don't think there's a there's a way for it to be disconnected? Sort of the leave work at work thing. It's got to be. There can be, but uh, I'm here to tell you it's hard. Is it? It, it is hard just to turn Why? that brain off because that that is how you live for day in, day out. As soon as you clock on, you have that mentality. Mm-hmm. You're always looking for everything that becomes a threat or becomes an emergency or becomes a situation. Mm. Uh, you know, when you're sitting down, you're looking at exits. When you're looking at people, you're looking at, you know, hands and face tattoos. You're looking at, hey, have I arrested that guy before? Um, stuff like that, you know, like in Sierra Vista where I was for the DOD. How long were you, uh, in, in the, not the service, how long were you a police officer? About five years. Five years. Five oh, okay. Years. Well, yes. <laughs> Decent little stand. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but you find yourself always seeing people as the worst case scenario. Cause you see the worst case scenario. Exactly. And, and that's that, what a lot of people don't appreciate enough about first responders in any capacity is and you it, see the worst side of humanity. Absolutely. Um, and so when it comes to that, and it just starts to eat at you, because mm-hmm. that's all you see. Um, and some people, they learn to cope with it. Mm-hmm. Me, I was like, mm, this is not for me. 